the Parliament buildings, the Empress Hotel, the Canadian Pacific Steamship Terminal, and a block away, the Crystal Garden. Few people have left their mark on our capital like the architect, Francis Rattenbury. Francis Mawson Rattenbury emigrated from England in 1892. At age 25 and with no formal education in architecture, he beat out 66 other architects in a competition to design the province's new legislature. By the time the project was finished five years later, Rattenbury was already building other public landmarks, including several new courthouses around the province. His courthouses in Nanaimo and Nelson combined a Scottish baronial look with a popular chateau style. For the Vancouver courthouse, he switched to a classical theme, complete with portico, dome, and ionic columns. Rattenbury soon had commercial clients too. For the Bank of Montreal, he designed new buildings in Victoria, New Westminster, and Nelson. For the Canadian Pacific, he designed a series of hotels in the Rocky Mountains, and in Victoria, as part of the railway's plans to promote tourism. Though Rattenbury was best known for his public buildings, he also designed many fine homes, including his own home on the Oak Bay waterfront. In 1901, he was the lead architect for Government House, the office and residence of British Columbia's Lieutenant Governor, which was destroyed by fire 50 years later. The only element that survives is this stone porte cochere, which was incorporated into the present-day Government House. In St. Paul's Cathedral in London, an epitaph to its architect says, if you seek a monument, look about you. In British Columbia, especially in the capital, the same could be said for Francis Rattenbury.